Hey, welcome to Sipper Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I am counting down my top five whiskeys to drink during the Easter holiday. What do I think about when I think Easter? Well, I reminisce back to my childhood about all the great Easter egg hunts that I had. Uh, my mom putting on these amazing scavenger hunts for Easter Sunday. So think about sweetness, candy, that kind of thing. So how does that translate to whiskey? Well, whiskey, for me, I'm reaching towards my sweeter pours during this time. Um, when I think about sweet whiskey, bourbon comes to mind right away, and maybe like a Pedro Jimenez finished sherry scotch. And while I'm at it, why don't I count down my top five favorite Easter candies as well? Let's get at it. Coming in at number five is the Woodford Reserve Double Oat Bourbon. This one spends an extra maturation in a lightly toasted and charred barrel. Mash bill on this, 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% barley. It is a pretty decent amount of rye. It adds a really nice spiciness to this, but that extra maturation in the cask, I get these amazing kind of like maple syrup on pancakes kind of note. I get Twix candy bar coming out of this. The brown sugar note is phenomenal. And I'm thinking sweet whiskey. I'm thinking this bourbon uh, brings the sweetness kind of through the roof. It's almost borderline on too much sweetness. But when you want something that is a really sweet bourbon, this double maturation Woodford's is amazing. Um, let's go number five, candy. How about the giant bunny? The giant chocolate bunny. You always thought it was solid, but when you bite into it, you realize that it is not, um, but still a staple in any Easter candy uh, scavenger hunt. You have to have the big chocolate bunny. Coming in at number four, let's go Scotch, the Glen Allocky 10 year old cast strength. This specific one I have in front of me is batch four. It uses a combination of PX, Oloroso, and Virgin Oak casks. Absolutely love the sweetness that's coming out of this. The sherry influence, I get these really nice jam, kind of uh, strawberry, raspberry kind of notes that come out of it. And then like so much like kind of pie filling, cherry pie filling, rhubarb pie. Just phenomenal stuff coming out of this. It's actually what I got on my glass right now. Super rich, super sweet. Just phenomenal stuff. You guys know if you watch the channel, I've talked about Glenallachie in excess for a very, very long time. And for good reason, um, they're making excellent stuff right now. Number four for candy. Now this is gonna be maybe specific to my area of the world. We get these uh, marshmallow sugar eggs. You bite into it, you kind of get this like, kind of like this marshmallow thing, but it's just, it's pure sugar. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I might be the only one who likes these, which is great because it's more for me but I always used to freaking devour these things as a kid and immediately regret it with a stomach ache. I gotta have it on the list. All right, this next scotch is coming in as an honorable mention just because it was super limited, but if you had the opportunity to try this Deanston 10 PX, you know how amazing this whiskey is. Probably one of my favorite ever Deanstons. Coming in at cast strength, 57.5% ABV. What a phenomenal whiskey this was. I really wish Deanston maybe put this in their core range and came in with it all the time because it was phenomenal. But coming in as an honorable mention just because it was super limited. All right, coming in at number three, let's go back to the bourbon category. Joseph Magnus, one of my favorite bourbons. This one finished in sherry and cognac casks. Gives it a really nice spiciness, but also the sweetness coming through here. You get an amazing maraschino cherry kind of note. I mentioned the spice, very nice cinnamon notes coming out as well. And then the almonds coming out of this, the marzipan almond paste. Um, nuttiness to this whiskey is phenomenal. Absolutely love Joseph Magnus. And number three for candy, gotta have the classic, the bunny head gummies. All right, another honorable mention, not a whiskey, but a rum. It's the Eldorado 25 year old. Listen, this is not the most complex rum. It has added sugar, but this is absolute dessert in a glass, coffee, vanilla, ice cream in liquid form. It is absolutely super, super sweet but super, super delicious at the same time. I absolutely love this rum. So let's make the list as honorable mention. All right, coming in at number two, Glendronic 21 year old PX cask maturation, 48% ABV. Absolutely love this Glendronic. Um, the entire core range back in the day when they were coming out with, you know, whiskey that was actually older than the age statement. They all were so, so amazing in their own right. This one, in my opinion, the sweetest, of all of them, of course, being that PX cask. Strong, bold sherry notes, but also this like elegance to it at the exact same time. Coffee, leather, prunes, um, just really good kind of like overall sweet oak aspect to this as well. Absolutely love the Glendronic 21. And candy number two, have to go with one of the best uh, Easter candies of all time. It's the Cadbury mini eggs. Not to be confused with the cream eggs, the mini eggs, in my opinion, are better. This might be specific to Canada, but if you've not tried a Cadbury mini egg, they are phenomenal and you must. 
All right, coming in at number one, and I wish I still had the bottle, but it got cashed a long time ago. It's the Cavalan PX, one of my favorite whiskeys ever from Cavalan, and one of the best PX cast whiskeys I've ever had in my entire life. We're talking super rich, super vibrant, raspberry, strawberry dessert drizzle, this really nice fudge, fig, apricot kind of note to it. Super sweet, but super well balanced and very, very intense, really in your face. It was definitely like a mood whiskey. You had to be in the mindset for a really nice sherry bomb, but when you were, this thing delivered on all accounts. This is definitely like a celebratory pour because the price is, is up there for sure but kind of varying in markets. I've seen this for as high as $600 US. I've seen it for as low as $275. So very huge range of prices for this. Definitely shop around if you're looking for it, but it's my preference as far as the Cavalan Special Editions go. The PX for me, absolutely phenomenal whiskey. The candy, number one candy for Easter. It's gotta be the Kinder Surprise. Again, maybe very specific to Canada, but the Kinder Surprise, chocolate, White chocolate, dark chocolate shell inside a little capsule with a toy that you could assemble yourself. The greatest idea for candy in the history of the world. Um, if, if it's a very specific to this region of the world, I'm sorry that you haven't experienced the Kinder Surprise. Um, but look it up. It is the best uh, candy that you could get as a kid. So there you have it. Um, lots of options, of course, to try during the Easter holiday. Let me know down below. What are you reaching for? And um, hopefully you have a good holiday. Um, happy Easter, happy Passover. Um, the other one that I'm forgetting perhaps, but I hope you're enjoying it with people you love and whiskey you enjoy. Cheers everyone.